hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video i'm your host super jungle and today i'm going to be doing a video and that's going to be speculating about the theme for call of duty 2017 so yeah let's get right into the video so of course at the time of recording this video it is at the end of february so that means we're going to be starting to get some leaks about call of duty 2017 and we should probably get a trailer coming out in the next two or three months so that's actually pretty soon and that is when we're going to be knowing exactly what the setting for call of duty 2017 is going to be and with the recent information about Call of Duty 2017 being boots on the ground, I thought I'd speculate a little bit about some of the possible settings for Call of Duty 2017. And in this video, I narrowed down three possible themes that I think would be the most likely for Call of Duty 2017 to be in. I think this video should be fun because you know it's always fun to speculate about the newest Call of Duty game, and comment down below your thoughts about what Call of Duty 2017 setting you think it's going to be in. And if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a like, let's see if we can get 5 likes on today's video, that would be absolutely amazing. Amazing, and yeah, let's get right into it. All right, now the first setting that I think Call of Duty 2017 could be in, and that is going to be a World War II Call of Duty game. And that's because the last Call of Duty game that was set in World War II was Call of Duty World at War, and that came out in 2008. It's been a little while, and I think that if Sledgehammer Games were to make a World War II Call of Duty game, I think a lot of people would like it, especially since the success of Battlefield 1, which means that a lot of the first-person shooter fan base would be okay with going back in the past, and it would be a successful Call of Duty game. So yeah, that's why I think that World War II would would be pretty possible for Call of Duty 2017. Alright, now the second one, that's going to be a Vietnam War Call of Duty game. Now this one, I think, might be a little bit more plausible because if you actually did not know, Sledgehammer Games was working on a third-person Vietnam War Call of Duty game, which was scrapped for Advanced Warfare. So that would mean if Sledgehammer Games wanted to make a Vietnam War Call of Duty game, the basic groundwork for it would have already been made. They could use the same characters, the same maps, as well as the same guns and things like that that they made in the third-person Vietnam Call of Duty game. All they would have to do is just basically make that in first person and then you have a new vietnam call of duty game that is why i think that this possibility is a little bit more likely than the world war ii one however either way i think they would be an awesome game to play now the last thing that i think call of duty 2017 could actually be set in and that's going to be kind of a slightly futuristic call of duty game if you think about it black ops 2 was the most popular call of duty game it may not have sold the most however most people think that black ops 2 is probably their favorite call of duty game as well as it was really successful and i think if sledgehammer game maybe to make a slightly futuristic Call of Duty game like Black Ops 2, I think it would be really successful. For one, a lot of the fans of Black Ops 2 and the old school Call of Duty games, they would really like this style of game. As well as the people that like the more futuristic tech, it can still be in a slightly futuristic Call of Duty game, however, it would be no exo movements. It would also be really good because it could basically set up the story for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, because if you actually did not know, Advanced Warfare took place in the 2050s and 2060s so that would mean that a slightly futuristic call of duty game could take place in the 2020s and 2030s about 10 or 20 years before advanced warfare and it would basically show how atlas corporation actually got to power and i think it would be a pretty interesting game and frankly i think all of these settings would be an interesting game to play and i'm not sure which one is my favorite and i just wanted to get out of the way that i do not think that this is confirmed like it's going to be either one of these three styles of game Heck, they could go back to the Revolutionary War if they wanted to. This is just a speculation about what I think Call of Duty 2017 is going to be like. However, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. And out of the three settings that I actually brought up in this video, which one would you actually like to see the most? In my own opinion, I think they're all equal because I think every single one of those Call of Duty games would be really awesome. However, comment down below your thoughts. So that's really been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to leave a like as well as subscribe for more videos and don't forget to click the bell to get a notification every single time i upload a new video so that's really been it for this video and i hope to see you in the next one